Yes, guys. Good evening to all. This evening, I will do a video of Holy Innocence Church and School Area once again, which is in the parish of St. Thomas. So again, this is the Holy Innocents Anglican Episcopal Church. This is situated at Ashford in St. Thomas. Ashford is spelled A-Y-S-H-F-O-R-D. I will show you guys around the church, but for right now, I will just stay here by the road and show you guys the road side first before proceeding to the into the churchyard and the school step the school compound and so on this is the holy innocence primary school where my family from my mother's side received their primary education such as my great aunts my first two aunts my cousins and other relatives who i know and who i don't know they received their primary education here this was the girls school and it was also used as a refuge during the time of Hurricane Janet, which struck Barbados and the Caribbean in September of 1955. And this school was taught by some great teachers, such as Mr. Lester Vaughan, the guy who wrote the National Pledge of Barbados, Mr. Lester St. Clair Vaughan, SCM. And he was the organist of the church as well. There is a school here in St. Thomas by the name of Les Liam Arthur Lester Vaughan. Lester Vaughan Secondary School is in St. Thomas, in Portobello, in King Garden. And it was also a tower with Mr. Dash, Rapper Dash, and a lady by the name of Mrs. Orsi Springer. All who were teachers at Holy Innocence. Mrs. Orsi Springer, she passed away late last year in December at the age of 99 if she had lived to see this year she would have been 100 yes guys i will show you guys around the church shortly so again i'm in the parish of saint thomas which is in the center of the island St. Thomas and St. George are the two parishes here in Barbados best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados so there is no sea nor cross link in these parishes these are the two landlocked parishes here in Barbados best referred to as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados and this is the road to have a here and a direction of Argali. And again, Harrison's chair runs all under here. So this is the Holy Innocence Anglican Episcopal Church, which dates back to 1838 built on lands given by the owners of Ashford Plantation and it was built in the shape of a cross. So this pavement was placed from here all the way up to Harrison's Cave, like in late 2013 or early 2014, because of the pedestrians were walking too close to traffic, so they had to like place the pavement here so that the school children, especially, and the pedestrians wouldn't have to walk too close to the traffic. So the pavement starts from here all the way up to like. So this is the primary school building with the mural graphic on it that was done by Miss June Connell in 2005 
this painting here depicts St. St. Thomas. You can see the monkey here at Welsh Mahogany. The man here reading the book is Mr. Lester Vaughan, who was the principal at Holy Innocent School back in the 1950s and 60s. And right next to him is the school students at Holy Innocent. You can see the Barbados Top Band. And you can see the windmill at Sturgis Plantation. And the monkey here is at Welsh Mahogany, all in St. Thomas. And the painting was done by Mr. John Connell in 2005. So this is where my family received their primary education. Back down to Holy Innocence, back down to Ashford Long Road. Again, in St. Thomas. So again, Harrison's Care was founded by Dennis Paleologist Olea Sorensen and Barbadian Tony Mason. And together they dug their way through the cave in the 1970s and then in 1981 on the 28th of November. The cave was opened as a public attraction by the Prime Minister of the day. Tom Adams, who was also the Minister of Finance, and he was also the Member of Parliament for St. Thomas as well. So this is Holy Innocence Primary School here. So this church has two cemeteries, so they have lots of family that a lot of ancestors that are laid to rest here at Holy Innocence. This is my great grandparents, my great aunts, great uncles, one of my aunts, and two, and some of my cousins are all laid to rest at Holy Innocence. Most of them are buried over here in the cemetery. This is on the other side of the road. And this is the church exit here. Ashford Long Road. So this is the church cemetery. This is the garden grave here. So as I said before, they don't bury people here in the churchyard anymore. They bury them on the opposite side. This is the grave of George Gooding, 1903 to 1977, and Jeffrey Gooding, 1935 to 2014, and Mildred Gooding from 1903 to 1974. So this is Holy Innocent's Anglican Episcopal Church, which dates back to 19, I mean, 1838, and it was dedicated in 1839. It was destroyed in 1831, and then rebuilt in 1839, 1838, and dedicated in 18, rededicated in 1839. This is the grave of Walter Phillips Smith who died June 16, 1918, at the age of 82. And Walter Carrington, Carrington Smith, born June 15, 1873, and died December 7, 1956, from Olivia and Phoebe, also his wife, Olive Worrell, 
born February 10th, 1886, and died November 6th, 1960. And Beatrice Lyle Smith, born the 10th of March, 1872, and died December 10th, 1922. And Phoebe Worrell Smith, born January 13th, 18, January 30th, 1871, and died December 21st, 1962. So this is the churchyard here. So I still have a great aunt that attends church here, that sings in the choir. This is the bell tower here. So I had a great uncle that used to be the bell ringer here, Garman Levine. This is the bell ringer here. This is the big bell here. I don't know if you guys can see the bell from here. The bell here and the bell free. This is the bell court where the bell is now. The bell used to be up here years ago, but they took it down either in the late 80s or the early 90s and placed it in here. The rope to the bell, to ring the bell. And you can see the school building down below here as well. So you can see the members take good care of the church. Might be aunts and so on, take good care of the church. This is the Church of the Holy Innocents, multi-purpose center. And this is the former church vicarage where the priests used to live. Since Reverend Light, I haven't seen any priests or heard of any priests living here, but they use it for the church office or any functions or anything. This is the front of the church, Holy Innocence, and the bell free here, where the bell is, the bell tower. This is the grave of Ermin Chud Gill, born February 15th, 1892, the 5th of February, 1892, and then the 17th of September, 1968. And in loving memory of our dear mother, Aunt Armin Nichols, born 1893 and died in 1972. So this church is tucked away in the beautiful parish of St. Thomas, here in Barbados. And it runs all under Harrison's Cave. Harrison's Cave runs all under here. That is why it is said that when service is going on at the church, that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave. So this was one of the Bishop Coleridge chapels of ease and it was built in the shape of a cross. And this is in sacred memory of the following families, William Green, John and Elizabeth Beats, William and Walter Daniel, Lenora and Alvin Daniel and the Glasgow family. May they rest in peace. So yes guys. Lots of my ancestors are buried in here, buried in this churchyard. And as I said before, this church is filled with the Daniel families, the Levine, which is my family, and the Drake's families, all from St. Thomas, and the Caves, and so on. And this is the grave here of Hudson the Costa Drake's, who was head teacher of Hillary Turner's House Primary School, and he was the principal of, I mean he was the organist at Holy Innocence Church. Hudson Drake is a sort of family of mine, a relative of mine. Hudson the Costa Drake, he was the organist at Holy Innocence Church and the headmaster of Hillaby Turner Saw Primary School. He was born on the 14th of March 1935 and died the 27th of March 2016. So he would have been 81 years. So this is the church here. And this is the cave tomb here. The cave is a popular family in Rash Mahal. All the cave family buried in here. So the only way that people will get buried in this cemetery is if they have a by grave 
and the Whittington's also also interred in this cemetery. The Whittington's. Or whole innocent cemetery. Or whole innocent church. Anglican Episcopal. Here in St. Thomas. That's good. We can back up towards Ashford. This road will lead you back to St. Thomas Post Office, which is just up the road here. So this is Holy Innocence Anglican Episcopal Church here in St. Thomas. As the plaque says here, as the board says here, we dedicated in 1839. So how is this? Cave and Watch Mahogany are the two tourist attractions above Holy Innocence Church, which was which was um which is in St. Thomas and is in close proximity to Holy Innocence. And this is the church cemetery here, which is on the other side of the road here. my family most of them are buried Thank you guys for watching now. Have a blessed evening.
Oh, I forgot to mention that the boys school, he was here. The boys school was here first. And then it became the Vicar's Club. Right by this church wall was the boys school. When it was the Holy Innocent Boys School. And then it became the Vicar's Club. It used to hold the um, functions for the church and so on. Yeah, with all the church cemetery here. So before I officially close, I will show you guys where the boys' school used to be. Right there in this open lot here next to this peach pink color house. What do you call the innocent boys' school? Open lot here. This open lot here was the boys' school before the innocence boys' school, and the pavilion is behind here. Look at, look at the pavilion. Before the innocence is an Anglican Episcopal church. Here in the beautiful parish of St. Thomas, here in Barbados, in the center of the island. So, thank you guys for watching now, and have a blessed evening.